Sunday. Hey. You know what I have to say? say I have it. to say thank say you to all of the families out there that decided to join us for Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. That was spectacular. You guys made my day. We had two families, and there were five generations at one time. Really? Table. Yeah, two different tables. Wow, that's awesome. I think it's really great that people choose Salute to go out with their family. Mm -hmm. I feel like we are truly honored that you would share with us those kind of intimate moments with your family. And I just wanted to say thanks, because it was a spectacular day. I had an unusual complaint that day. Oh, boy. That what the food it? came out too fast. And I tried to tell the people, I said, look around. You see there's a 1,000 people in here. And they were like, I know, I know. But we waited, and the food's already here. I was like, you guys can sit and relax all you want. We had a great time, though. That's it good. was really That's a fun good. day. And again, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. OK, so what are we doing today? I'm putting you to work. All right, what we're going to do. Imagine that. <laughs> and I think this is the, the reason I brought these in are probably two of my personal favorite dishes mm -hmm. are seared tuna with the balsamic teriyaki glaze mm -hmm. and the wasabi aioli. Ooh. So wasabi aioli, everybody out there, aioli sounds like such a big name. All that is is, is a homemade mayonnaise. And we infuse it with some fresh grated wasabi so that you get that kind of Asian flair on our seared tuna. Right. But what you are working on yep. is one of my egg little plants. creations, the egg plant. which is the eggplant Napoleon. Let me, let me trim these just a little bit. They're a little bit too big. And those should be perfect. Oh, sorry. Ah, ah, ah. Boy. Right. He knows he goes flour, batter, yes, breadcrumbs. Yes, yes, yes. I must have forgotten that. But anyhow, the reason I'm doing these, I wanted people to be thinking about this. Summertime is coming. Everybody's looking to find lighter items that they could eat, especially at lunch. And when you really think about it, our seared tuna, our smoked salmon, our grilled shrimp, our grilled scallops, with the little bit of veggies that we serve on our tapas menu are absolutely perfect. Add a salad to it, and it's a really nice meal. So lots of choices for people that I think can find a lighter way to eat because everybody is bikini bound and bathing suit bound right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So anyhow, I guess you're getting rid of your jet ski, huh? Yeah, you want to buy it? Nope. I got a boat. Nope. I had a problem on a jet ski, if you remember. Yes, yeah, I do. I am banned from jet skis for life. <laughs> but uh, we're going to start a little bit of our veggies over here, and okay. I'm going to start searing this wonderful tuna. I tell you what, can we get a close-up down on the tuna real quick? All right, right here you see just beautiful center cut sushi grade ahi tuna. It is delicious. Our pan is smoking hot. That is the trick with tuna. We have our own beautiful crusting pepper that I will not tell you what's in it because it's a surprise. It's one of our little chef secrets. But we crushed it on both sides and then hit it in that pan. And I tell you what, you and I both know it does not take long to cook. No, not at all. If you're doing it right, you really do not want to overcook And again, whenever you get that, that tuna with that pink center in it, uh, it's done. Oh, it's, it's cooked so through. But that, that, that holds in, with it being seared on the outside like it is, it's good and um, you know, it seals all that good flavor inside. That's absolutely true. And believe it or not, you ready? We're going to turn this. Look how hot that pan is. And look at that beautiful pepper crust. Oh, wow. Looks so good. The key too, you know, a lot of people don't know, but when you're cooking something like this and you're going to slice it, you want to try and get it out of the pan or off the grill mm -hmm. and let it sit and rest for a minute before you cut, before you actually cut it, because otherwise all the juice will just drain right out. And that's actually perfect. Is that amazing? That's amazing. Very hot pan here. All right, so. I'm going to start our veggies, which you're going to finish for me while I'm doing our eggplant. Okay. And everybody knows we do beautiful, fresh, seared vegetables, cooked to order, so that every time you come in, they're made for you. That keeps them crunchy and flavorful, which is the way you really want them if you want them to be nutritious. You've got to cook the veggies till they're vibrant in color and not brown. Right. When they're brown, they really have no... And that's why they are cooked value. fresh to order. Absolutely, and we're known for it, so mm -hmm. you guys enjoy that. All right, now here we go. One, two, and three. 
You did such a nice job. Well, after 13 years, you would think so. Unbelievable. Huh? 13 <clears throat> long years. Yeah, okay. We've been we've been together longer than than you do I was want that tuna to end up, <laughs> You do want that tuna to end up on a plate, right? All right, now be nice. Okay. Be nice. We're kidding. All right, so catering at Salute. A big focus of ours is catering. Everybody knows, mm -hmm. and I don't think there's a restaurant on the coast that can accommodate a group better than we can if you're between 20 and 50 and do it and allow people to order right off the menu. Yeah. You know, yeah. instead of having to set up a separate menu, which a lot of people want to find something they really like, and it may not be on that group menu that they give them. So I love that. And you've got the different rooms there. I mean, if you've got like a small group of maybe 20, the tower room is great. Yep. Uh, if you, or, yep. or the, uh, uh, if you've got a bigger room, you know, 50 uh, people or so, you've got the wine room. That's, that's really that's perfect. Yeah, and you know we'll use the room on the west side, mm -hmm. our Harbor View room for bigger groups. Right. They can have the patio outside. Look at how perfect that, that is. is huh? Nice. Does that not look great? Mmm. -mm. Mm. Anybody who hasn't tried tuna where it's still on the rear side, all I say is just one time. Yeah. One time, be brave and try it this way. And again, it is cooked. It's not oh, really raw. It's cooked. It's so good that way. Okay, here we go. Eggplant is looking good. How are we doing on time, gang? I think we got a few minutes left. All right. A little minute and a half. Let's put it together here. There we go. Pull out our eggplant. And let's pop these little babies right across here. Tell you what, I love fresh tuna. And another piece right here. There we go. Little zigzag of our sauce. And it's really done, basically. Mm -hmm. Would you take some of those sesame seeds and green onions and put on there? I would be more than happy to. All I'm right, and now on this you. one, let's go ahead, zig it. Love this dish. Eggplant, tomato, mozzarella. We do that three times. And green mozzarella. Onions. And one last piece. Look at that, huh? It's like a skyscraper when we're done. Like an eggplant sandwich. It really is, it's so good. And then we drizzle it, of course, with our balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. And if you put some basil on there. I can do that. And I tell you what, two of my favorites, guys. Come see us at Salute. I know you'll love the food and enjoy our light menu.